Right, you may gather, or not, with the clever, clever side of editing, this is a new day. So yesterday, as you probably gathered, was not much fun for me. Just a combination of things just sort of got on top of me, right? And it happens, all right? So I'm honest. Unlike a lot of other people, I'm honest, it happens. So today's a new day and I'm feeling much better. I've had a better night's sleep. I've trained a different aspect in the gym, um, which has improved. Letting rest my chest and things like that. Um, so yeah, so new day. And I, <laughs> annoyingly, I can't pick up my new shovel because they don't make these um, where I got this before. So that was a bit frustrating. So the, the continuation of issues went on. So I've had to go back to the old faithful the old grafter is in. The reason why I prefer that one, it's just a little bit easier for the job. So, but by the by, we're, we're back today. So I'm gonna crack on and get this smashed out because yes, I'm behind schedule, but it could be worse, couldn't it? So even today on my way into work, it took me, so I left my house at just after eight and I turned up at 20 past nine. And I've stuck in traffic for ages and this really annoyed me. But when I realized that it was actually, um, unfortunately someone's been knocked off their motorbike this morning, kind of puts things into perspective about running late, doesn't it? So, better get digging. Okay, so new plan. I was thinking of trying to lift that slab up, but there's absolutely no way. It's well and truly concreted in from this side and that side. So I've made two pockets both sides, and then I've got a chunky, like a metre long drill that I've drilled through all the way. So I've now got the end of the drill that side. So if you can see, see that. So I've got the drill that side, end of the bit that side. So I'm going to try and use the rods to pull through. Now, it will mean that I'm gonna have a lot more cable to clean, but I can't get that up. Um, probably gonna break it if I do. So, fingers crossed, it's gonna work.
cable through. That was really stressful, I'm gonna be honest. It was a bit of a pain, but it's been done, but I haven't had to relay the slab, so positive, yeah, positive. So we're gonna try and get aim for. So got that underneath, the rain is now stepping up quite a bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get these filled back in now and then start clipping down to the fence. Um, but obviously I'm very conscious about you guys sitting there on the settee or in your van getting wet. So I better drink my tea and get cracking. Right, the rain has eased off a little bit. Um, so obviously I didn't want to get you guys soaked, did I? I mean, that would be awful. It's the 4D experience that you don't need in your life. So I've got the cable clipped up. So we've gone all the way down, down the fence line. Um, so lifted this slab and because I can't drill it, let's be honest, because I've got incoming mains and I've got the drains. So I can't drill it even if I wanted to at the angle. So we have lifted that up. We've dug a channel, put it back in, sand in the channel, uh, sand in the channel, cable in, sand, or sand, cable, sand. You know what I'm saying? Um, got that in there and then I've just brought it up to this point here. So, so just brought it up to, to there. So I'm now gonna drill through, but I've got to move, I think it's a fridge or a freezer, one of the two. So I've got to move that out of the way. Um, and also what I need to do is, is isolate the armored off from, so the armoring off from the TT system. So what I'm gonna do, because Yesterday, I'll try and show you in here, but obviously it's a bit darker today because it's, uh, it's a bit naff. So, because of we're turning this into a TT system in here, let me because some of you might have been screaming at me before. Sorry, it's so dark. So hopefully you can see that. So obviously I've got the armour in straight into that consumer unit. Now I could have fitted a plastic one, but they didn't have one. Um, so, so as it stands, if I connect that armoring which is because it's connected to the metal board and obviously the TT so then the armorings on the TT side I now need to put uh, and separate the armoring off either with a plastic enclosure before it goes into the consumer unit because obviously the consumer unit is on the earthing side of the board sorry about that I've battery died so yeah so the so obviously I need to make sure that the armoring of the armored cable is not connected to the PME side because it's connected to the TT side down here. So just mental note, need to remember to do that. Um, Cause you know, it's like when you get busy, you just fly on, don't you? So that is what I'm gonna be doing now. Let's go and move some fridges. The supply into the garage, um, it is tight. Looks like I've moved the fridge or freezer. I don't know whether you can see that properly now. So this is what I'm meaning by separating the two uh, types of earthing. So we've got our cables run through. We've gone armoured up to this point, put a uh, adaptable box on. So this one's made by Hensel. A little bit more room than, than, than Whisker to be fair. Um, so I just really like them, really like the boxes actually in fairness. Um, so what I've then done is kept, so the internal earthing system is wired in off the PME and then just the armoring at the other end is wired off the TT system because obviously I don't want the two sort of mixing up at all. So this is the way I've, I've chose to do it rather than here rather than at the other end, partly because on the other end, the fixings where the board is, was not fantastic. Um, and I don't want to really induce any more issues down that end. Um, so yeah, so that's what we've, we've done at the minute. So I'm just gonna get all that energized and then we'll go and test that earth rod and see what we've got. Right, so power is on, okay? So like I said, we've just explained how we're going about obviously separating the two earthing arrangements. So oof, there is nice to have lots of room in here. So what we're gonna do, we'll whip the front cover off. And we'll do a bit of cheeky testing together. So I haven't got any final circuits as such coming out of here. I've got no sockets, no lights, no nothing coming out of the board. So all I'm gonna be testing is the actual install to here. 
So we've got our ZE, we've got our PFC, polarity, and an RCD test. So that is basically all we're going to be able to do testing wise. So moving forward, so moving forward, there will be additional sockets and things like that, but they wanted a basis now just so they can crack on. Right, so carrying out the ZE on the TT system. Now I need to have it below 200 ohms. So first and foremost, we need to disconnect it from the board. So as you can, there's no bonding in here anyway, so it shouldn't be any difference. But in fairness, you have got obviously the metal enclosure. So to do it right, should really just disconnect it from the board. So set my test up. Fingers crossed. Come on, be good. Oosh. So, right, okay, so testing ZE, not great. We've got a ohms resistance of 244 ohms. That is not, not cooking on gas for me, not great at all, because obviously that would be classed as unstable. Um, so we're gonna have to either do one of a few things, add an additional rod, which is probably what it's gonna end up having to be. Um, let's go and, I'm gonna go and have a look outside and see if there's anything awry, but that is 244 ohms, which is too much for me. So, right, let's bear with. Right, so clearly that's not gonna be good enough. Um, so, we're gonna be whacking in an additional earth rod. Um, so you're gonna have a link piece, which we're gonna put on there now, and then I'm gonna hopefully whack the living daylights out of it and sink it all the way down. Splinter. Right, wish me luck. Just like to point out, this is doing the shoulder the world of good. gas now. So one of the other things I'd like to point out is today's sponsor is Tradeify. So Tradeify is a job management um, app that you can use. Um, now we used it for the last couple of years or so but exactly like this before I leave the site obviously this is additional works I can alter it on there and they send it over so the customer, by the time I've finished this job, eventually, it's taking forever, um, they'll know exactly what they're paying for. So you can just amend it as you go in. So one of the other cool features of Tradeify is that you've got an options list as well. So if you were doing like, like a building like this, you can put options on of, do you want outside lights, interior sockets, no pressure for the customer then. And um, they can just tick it or accept and decline. So the other thing that is really cool is your invoice reminders so they can keep firing them out as well so if you want to use the 14 day free trial which is what we did in fairness and you enjoy it because that is i literally just sat there for i can't be that good had a go with it really found how much it can make a massive difference to our business and went for it straight away so if you want to do that, the link's in the description below. Use the promo code GHAWK50, you'll get 50% off for the first three months. Right, better get back to bashing. Wow, that was a massive effort. Um, okay. So, done the old shoulder a right work out there, isn't it? So, um, right, so let's test it together. So essentially, what's that? Three, nearly three meters down? Because each one of those rods is about a meter and a half-ish, or 1200, so 2.4, let's say. Let's be, let's be generous and say 2.4 down. So I'm hoping that that has dramatically lowered my result. Um, so let's see what we've got. Let's see what we're working with. 
Because remember, we were over 200 and, what was it, 220 ohms or whatever. It seems like a lifetime ago. I had to go to the merchant and go and get another one. Here we go, moment of truth. Boom. So what are we saying? Lower. Higher than ace, you say? So you old, old farts know that one. So there we go. Is it 0 0.51? That'll ding dang do. So uh, essentially, if I whack in another rod, obviously that will bring that down even further. Um, things that will affect the difference between the readings will be stuff like the weather, if it's grounds wet or dry and all that sort of stuff. So I'm happy with that. I'm out. I'll take that. I've got to really wrap this job up. Um, so we're going to test the um, test that. We'll get that back in the the earth in back into here i'm waffling i don't really understand what's going on so we're going to get this back in so we'll link out the other end and we'll get our r1 plus r2 um for the armored so we'll go and do that in a minute but what we're going to do is we'll do the rcd test now so we're all happy on that front saves me to in and fro in um insulation resistance testing as well which would probably be beneficial wouldn't it Oh, hang on. Got the settings wrong here. I got it at 10 milliamps. That's not going to help, is it? Okay, let's go again. So, 18.9. So, R1, R2 testing on the board. 0.19 on there. So, we'll go and smash out the um, insulation resistance as well. Now, you may or may not hear. Um, that there's an alarm going so because when you deck the power in the main house it's all kicking off so two seconds and i'll be back right insulation resistance absolutely bang on so as expected so because the other end is just got an mcb on it not rcd that means that we as we're doing our, our rcd testing should in theory mean that it's not got um a selectability issue between this RCD and obviously an RCBO down that end. So we'll rattle through the RCD testing on here. So 29.6 at 180 degrees, which I tend to find seems to be the higher normally, but so we'll go again, so 29.6, 19.4, okay? So one last test, it's a functional test to make sure that's all good. So I'll write my results down. And that's it, we're done. Finitoed, right, I'll get this board cover back on. Right, so this job has come to an end now, it has been, uh, I'm going to be honest, it's been really testing. I don't know why, but it has. It's such as life. The customers have been brilliant, so I can't say that they've put any pressure on me whatsoever because they haven't. It's just been one of those jobs where it's just really awkward to sort of get yourself in the groove. Nothing seems to go right. Again, like with the earthing, you know, it's some people I know, you know, if they're honest, they'll just walk away from it and go, whatever, I'll, that's that's what it is, what it is. But it's not right. So we need to make sure we step up and get the job done. Um, so I need to be out of here now. I'm, I've literally just, this, this job as it stands has not made me any money whatsoever. Um, it's been a bit of a pig. So I reckon I might be in the doghouse with Steve-O, because uh, he sorts all the billing out. Um, but it is what it is, what can you say? So uh, hopefully, and if you have stayed to the very end of the video, thank you very much. I do appreciate it, and uh, on to the next one. Right, look after yourselves. Take care, guys.